Hi there, I am Sumit Bansal and in this video, I'm going to show you a very cool Power Query trick. So let me first show you the data and what I'm trying to achieve and then I will show you how to do that using Power Query. So here I have the data where I have the movie name and the year it was released and I want to repeat each row a given number of times. Let's say I want to repeat each row five times. So I want the first five rows to be Avatar and then the year is 2009. Then the next five rows are Avengers, Endgame, then Avatar, The Way of Water and so on. Now obviously there are many ways to do this. I can insert a helper column and then use a formula like sequence and then sort the data to achieve this. I can also create a complex dynamic array formula and get the result. But the easiest way and the most scalable solution is to use Power Query and it is very, very easy. So let me show you how to do this using Power Query. So here I have my data and let's say I want to repeat each row five times. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this table into an Excel table. And the reason I'm doing this is because Excel tables work really well with Power Query. So to convert this into an Excel table, I would select any cell in this data, then hold the control key and press the T key. When I do that, it shows me the create table dialog box. Here, make sure that the range is right and then keep this checked, which says my table has headers because my table does have headers. Now, when I click OK, this data has been converted into an Excel table. Now, the formatting is all messed up, but that's fine because I'm not going to work on this table. I'm going to just open this in Power Query. So to do that, I'm going to click on this data tab here and then click on from table range, this icon here. And when I do that, it is going to open my Excel table in the Power Query editor. So this is what you see is Power Query editor and my table has been brought into this editor. Now I can do everything I want here in the Power Query editor and what I want is to repeat these rows five times. So to do that, I'm going to add a new column here. So I would go to the add column tab here and then click on custom column. And when I do that, it opens this custom column dialog box. Now, the reason for this is because it, I need to tell Power Query what is the column I want to add and what are the values that should be in each cell in the column. So here I'm going to create a list. So what I'm going to do is have curly brackets and within curly brackets, I'm going to type one dot dot five. Now, if you are new to Power Query and you have no idea what this is, let me quickly explain. This is going to create a list of five numbers, one, two, three, four, and five. So one is going to be the starting value of the list and five is going to be the ending value. So you can have one dot dot five to create a list of five numbers. Now, when I'm doing this, this is going to be the value in each cell in the row. See what happens when I click OK. It inserts a new column and here I have each cell that says that there is a list in each cell. And when I click on it, you'll see in the preview here that I have these five numbers. So every cell now has a, a list that contains five numbers. And the reason I've done this is because I can expand these lists. So when I expand this list, it is now going to expand into five rows and these values are going to be repeated, which is exactly what I want. So I'm going to come to this expand icon here, then click on expand to new rows. And when I do that, it is going to expand the list. So you can see one, two, three, four, five and these values are repeated. This is exactly what I wanted, but I don't want the custom column here. So I would come here and then remove it. So right click on the custom header, and then click on remove. Now this is the data that I wanted. So I have it in Power Query. Now let's take this data into Excel. So I would go to the file tab here and then click on close and load. When I do that, it is going to insert a new sheet and it is going to give me the result here. Now, in this case, my query name is table eight. You can change the query name. You can also change the sheet name and you can make it more descriptive. Maybe you can, let's just rename it. So right click on the query and we can call it repeat five times. And you can name your queries whatever you want. And you can see I have the result here. Now, the great thing about Power Query is if I come back here and I make any changes to this table, if I add some rows, if I remove rows, if I change the data, I can just come to this table that Power Query has inserted, right click and then click on refresh. And this is going to give me the updated result. Now, in this example, I showed you how to repeat each row a given number of times. So every row was repeated five times. But what if you have a data set, something like this, where I want this row to repeat only two times, but this row to be repeated five times, this row to be repeated four times and so on. So I have a value for each row that I want to use instead of using a generic five times or seven times. Now, again, this can easily be done with Power Query with a slight modification. So to do that, I'm going to first convert this into an Excel table. So select any cell, then hold the control key and press the T key. 
and then again click OK because my table has headers this is checked and the range is right. So now when I click OK it converts it into an Excel table and now I can open it in Power Query so I go to the data tab and here click on from table range and now it is going to open this data in Power Query editor and you can see there here the table name is table 10 maybe you can rename it so repeat custom now I want this row to repeat two times this to repeat five times which means that I want to insert a column hand and have a list there where this list should say one to two this list should say one to five and so on so to do that I'm going to go to the add column tab here then click on custom column and here again I'm going to insert a list but this time I would have one dot dot but instead of mentioning five as the number I'm going to use the number in this column so I would just double click on the rept column name here and you can see I have all the available columns here in this list so when I double click on rept it inserts rept in square brackets this is the format that Power Query follows so you can either manually type it or you can just double click on the column here now when I click OK see what happens it does the same thing inserts a list but this list is now based on the value in the third the rept column so you can see this list has two values but this list has five values and this list has four values and so on so now I can just come here and expand to new rows and it gives me the result I wanted the first value which is avatar is repeated two times then Avengers Endgame is repeated uh, five times then avatar again is repeated four times and so on now I do not need these two columns so I can right click and then remove these columns then go to home sorry file close and load so this is going to now insert a sheet and you'll see that the sheet name is this is the same as the query name which is repeat custom and I have the data here now if you want to make any changes let's say I go back here and I make this from instead of two I want to repeat it ten times I can come back and I can quickly refresh this query and you'll see that this change has been done so anything I make uh, the changes I make here and I come and refresh here the changes automatically go back to power query all the changes are done and then you instantly get the result here in Excel so if you want to repeat rows in your data set a specific number of times or a custom given number of times then you can use these power query methods now if you want me to create more such videos about Power Query and M code, please let me know in the comment section. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Also, if you're liking these videos, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on the bell icon so that you never miss out on any new Excel tips video I come up with. Thank you and have a nice day.